to soccer. The FAI Cup is back in Sligo for the second year running. On their journey home today, Sligo Rovers made numerous stops to meet supporters along the way. First stop in County Sligo, Gurchin. The Sligo Rovers team bus bringing the FAI Cup back for the second year in a row and for some of the players it was still sinking in how the two victories came at the end of a penalty shootout with the same heroic goalkeeper. When it goes to penalties it's a lottery really isn't it? Yeah. And obviously we've got on Karen Kelly, the penalty king and he comes along and he saves everything. And uh, just uh, as you said, like when it goes to penalties it's just it's anyone's game. It's lucky enough we come out on top. It's a psychological game where I think that it's the goalkeeper has the uh, advantages ahead of the obviously the kicker. So um, I try to get in their heads. <laughs> obviously, it worked for me again this year, so I won't change it. Tubber Curry was the next stop, and the champagne was popped for the local player Rafael Cotaro. It's great for you people to have a local lad who's done you so proud. I hope you have a great time. Well done. The bonfires were burning as the team bus pulled into Riverstown, home now to several of the current squad of Sligo Rovers players. A small place with a big welcome for the FAI Cup winners tonight. The biggest crowd waiting to welcome the team home was waiting patiently here at the showgrounds for the big celebration. The bus, however, was taking the long way back from Dublin, making almost 10 scheduled and unscheduled stops along the way. Its arrival at Rover's home ground just a short time ago was the signal for the party to begin. Eileen Magner, RTE News, Sligo.